Good morning everyone. I'm sorry I'm not there in person. I uh, missed a flight and uh, had to spend the night in the airport. So I will be in the air when you guys are meeting, but I just wanted to take a moment to welcome you all. And I hope um, you are getting used to this blue jeans. Um, we encourage you all to use the camera. I know it can be a little awkward at first, but it's our opportunity for you guys to get to know each other. Um, so when you come to the national conference, you guys will know a little bit about each other because you guys are gonna be working together really closely. So the main purpose of our call today is I just wanted to explain how um, a peer guide is really a part of an advisory board. If you've ever been on a board of directors or something like that, it is um, going to have a paid stipend for your work and it is a little bit more elevated than all the other uh, youth positions that Unity has offered in the past in the way that we are really going to you for advice and this is the very first time Unity has ever brought in a group of qualified experts and that's you <laughs> just based on your passion and your outlook and what you do for your community and you're wanting to help others um, so you guys are really going to be the advisory board for creating a lot of content for unity. So what that means is when you go to the national conference, it's not gonna be just like, oh, I'm here to be an attendee and have fun. We are gonna have a lot of fun, but I just wanna give everybody a heads up. Part of being on this advisory board is that it's going to be working meetings. It's going to be task oriented. And these trainings are not just gonna be on how to better yourself, um, which always we will be doing those sorts of things like leadership development, uh, practicing public speaking. But most of the times we are meeting at the national conference it'll be separate so if you can think of if you've been to a conference before the way the advisor trainings are separate um, how sometimes they step away from the main conference to have your own uh, trainings that's what the peer guides will be doing so on our next call we'll go over the detailed uh, calendar and um, agenda of how you went when you'll attend general sessions and then when you'll step away to really do a lot of the work as an advisory board so first of all welcome and I hope you've gotten to know each other a little bit more um, it's just amazing the things that you're going to be able to do at the national conference. You're going to be accomplished uh, creating your own video to explain what this project is. You're going to be naming the project, meaning we want uh, the peer guys to come up to two to three names to prove. Um, present to our funders at the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention of two to three names to choose from that you want to name the project. Um, you're also going to be collecting data. A big part of, um, you know, making decisions in the future is to be able to ask the attendees and Native youth from around the country what do they think about um, problems they're seeing in their community. Why are youth being incarcerated at higher rates than others? Um, what are some things that are making youth drop out of school? Um, and then there's positive questions. We want to always come from a strength-based approach. We want to ask them questions like, you know, what is working for Native youth? What's keeping youth engaged? What should we do more of? A little bit more on that later but a huge part of your role at the national conference is going to be going around and collecting data and collecting community feedback from the same people that you will be training when you go back to your uh, regions in the future so as part of a peer guide you'll also be a trainer we're gonna bring you in as a peer trainer, just like Leslie and Natani and some of the other trainers have helped in the past with the TNL project. Um, but at this at the national conference, you will be meeting and networking with advisors and youth councils in your region. So when you, it's your turn when Unity comes to your region, you'll be able to keep in close contact with those people that you meet at the national conference. Awesome networking opportunity.
You also will um, be drafting a resolution um, for the National Unity Council to, um, you know, look at and adopt and really presenting on stage at the very end of the conference what your findings were, what you found out from talking to people during the national conference and, and announcing the official like these are the three names we came up with and these are our recommendations moving forward so don't worry about this if you're getting a little overwhelmed I'm just kind of making a list of all the things that we'll be doing at the national conference to give you an idea um, you know, you'll be working on a subcommittee. You'll determine what area of this project when you move forward. Um, between us meeting in person once or twice a year, you're going to be in charge of something uh, to, to help develop. Maybe it's outreach, maybe it's curriculum writing, maybe it's um, presenting your findings to <clears throat> federal agencies those sorts of things we'll talk over and you'll sign up each of you will sign up so that we're each um, you know playing a vital role in how we can develop this uh, project and move it forward so it's a lot of really amazing things um, we are also going to be hearing from some really great resources that are coming in nationally to really show you what is being done to help native youth on a national level one of them is coming from Alaska the resource basket and then the other one is a national TTA um, group that will be providing information on how um, they have helped different communities be set up for success to address um, youth at risk in their home communities. So with that said, there's a lot to be done at the National Conference. I also just want to bring up that because you are an advisory board and this is a paid position, um, we, we uh, some of the standards, we're going to talk about that, like what are the expectations and can you just be like, no, I have a child's birthday party sorry I'm not gonna make that call um, you know the the standards are gonna be a little bit higher um, for your attendance and not just to show up and be like yeah cool I vote yes but to give your feedback so it's a really exciting opportunity for you to be an advisor to not only unity but to give your input and feedback to these amazing federal agencies that want to hear directly from Native youth. So we're so excited about this program. Like I said, there will be a um, stipend and that will be given out in October. So you will know um, every October um, there will be a stipend based on your work for that year. And at the National Conference, we'll, we'll set, like, what are some of those rules? What do you think is fair? Um, how many absences are allowed until somebody's asked to step down from the position? We have about 30 alternates, so there are people who are able to help fill in if at any time you feel you can't. Um, but we fully believe that you guys are going to see this project from creation all the way to the end. So, sorry. Sorry, I'm in an airport. That was crazy. Um, so, there's a, two things that we guys we want you guys to do between now and the next conference call. So we'd really like you to think of what are some of those questions. You are going to be brought up on stage and announced that you are the new class um, of cohorts, of peer guides at the national conference. And then we're going to tell everybody through a video that you will be having these amazing iPads and you'll be walking around the conference collecting videos videos of people asking them this survey question and then also just getting quotes from them um, things we can post online so that's my flight Tammy will give you more information between now and the next conference call. We would like for you guys to come up to with one um, to three, at least three different questions of what you would think you would like to ask youth 
um, at the conference that you think would be important to get their feedback on this program that you're going to help develop. What should we know from Native youth in Unity to really make sure that we're creating the best training possible that can help address youth who are at risk and what they really need from the community? So just brainstorm two to three um, survey questions and then bring them to our next conference call. And then I also will be sending out a survey next week sometime just asking about um, your knowledge base. It's kind of like a pre uh, survey there's no wrong answers and then we'll compare it to where you are in two years when this project is um, you know at full full tilt and going so I'm sorry for the crazy interruptions and the intercoms and everything but Tammy will be able to explain a little bit more and I can't wait to see you guys again just know you're amazing you can do this and even if you're new to unity don't be afraid we're gonna help each other get through this and everything will be explained in due pro time if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the chat box and tammy will make sure that we get a copy of all your questions um, so I can answer them for you. Um, in the meantime, the last thing is we're buying everybody polos, so we just need your t-shirt size. If you can make sure to put that in the chat as well. We really look forward to seeing you. Um, I gotta jump on a plane, but I'll talk to you later. Bye.